In the year 2237, the chicken rice epidemic wiped out most of the population. We were the survivors. The government took us in. They said they would keep us safe. You're right. I'll never forget those experiments they did. Some of us managed to escape, and the rebellion was born. First, I had to deal with the tracking chip. Then. I had my guys on the outside provide me with some supply. The rebellion is coming, and we're going to take the power back. Oh man, I look like crap. Welcome back. Hope you enjoy watching this as much as I enjoyed creating this for you. This is my first submission for the Face Awards Singapore Top 15 Challenge. The theme is futuristic. I had so much fun creating this post-apocalyptic, edgy rebel warrior look with the glowing circuit board designs on my face, tribal patterns on my forehead, and the cyborg arm. And I loved making the costume. I also had a wonderful first time messing about with SFX makeup for my injured rebel look, as well as trying to be an action movie star. It was so much fun, but honestly, acting is so difficult. If you like what you see, please vote for me. The link is below, and there'll be more instructions at the end of the video. Now let's get started. And what better way to start than with this icky piece of FX gelatin skin? Look at that transparency and wiggles. So authentic and gross. So to make homemade FX gelatin, mix gelatin powder, glycerin, and water in a microwave-safe bowl and stir well. Pop it into the microwave for 15 seconds at a time, stirring well in between heating. You will have to do this a couple of times until it's fully melted. Spoon it into your mold, being careful not to burn yourself as it will be very hot. A saucer with tapered edges like this works well so that the piece will look more realistically cut. Once cooled, remove the pieces gently with a spatula and store them in a Ziploc bag if you're not using them right now. It's a good idea to make this a day or two before you actually want to use it for your look because there's just not enough time to do it all in one sitting. Well, for me at least. Look at that icky goodness! I started off by using NYX's multi-purpose buffing brush to apply loose setting powder on the gelatin piece to absorb any moisture. Using a 70% alcohol swab, I cleaned my arm from oil and dirt. I used NYX's Liquid Suede and Cherry Skies to paint the underside of the skin piece to use as a stamp on my arm to mark out the place where it would be. I put it on a palette and covered it with NYX's Total Control Drop Foundation in a shade close to that of my arm. I set it with loose powder again, and then my skin piece was done. I put it aside to set. For my first injured escaping rebel look, I primed my face with NYX's Color Correcting Liquid in yellow to give myself a yellowish base. And used Nix's auto eyebrow pencil to draw my brows. I wanted them to look messy and overgrown, like I hadn't plucked them in months. I also used Nix's angled brush to add some brow pomade to darken the overgrown hairs. This is not a good everyday look, you guys. I applied eyeshadow primer and then used Nix's jumbo eye pencil in milk as a base to allow the colors to pop more. I used another jumbo eye in slate to map out my dark eye circles and used my fingers to blend it in. Tortured prisoners probably don't get much sleep. I used the darker shade in NYX's Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette and the Smudger Brush to make my eyes look red and irritated from crying or chemicals or something. I darkened my circles with matte brown, purple, and grey eyeshadows, making sure to blend them out well. I also darkened my crease with a few grey eyeshadows from the NYX Loves LA collection, and then went in with the blush again to add more redness to the eyes and nose and mouth areas too. Using NYX's Wonder Stick. I contoured my cheekbones and cheek areas for that gaunt and undernourished effect. 
I also contoured my jawline, nose bridge and forehead for definition, blending that all in with NYX's precision blending sponge and setting all that with a brown contour powder. Next, it was time for black eyeliner on top and grey eyeliner smudged on the bottom. I curled my lashes with NYX's lash curler, used their Fly With Me mascara and then put on some natural looking false lashes in a brown shade to match my brows. In order to give myself a bruise from getting punched during the escape, I took a NYX beauty wedge and plucked random pieces out till it looked like this. I applied NYX's butter lipstick in Moonlit Night and matte lipstick in Siren to the sponge and used it to stamp my face in a stippling motion. I did the same thing to the other side, but this time making it look like I might have tripped, fallen and hit my jaw on something during the escape. I also added some to my neck to make it look like someone tried to grab me. For my lips, I used NYX's liquid suede and soft spoken as a base, which for me is the perfect my lips but better shade. I let that dry for a bit and then I applied a NYX concealer in a lighter shade to my pursed lips. This gave the illusion that my lips were really dry and cracked, truly malnourished. Back to my arm wound. I applied spirit gum and bits of rolled up scar wax along the perimeter of the wound, shaping it with my fingers into tubes. You can also shape it on your palette before molding it to your arm. I used a spatula to flatten the edges into my skin to look more realistic. I repeated the same steps for my forehead wound with a 70% alcohol swab and spirit gum. For this cut, I only needed to use a couple of pieces of scar wax, making sure to smoothen the edges into my skin with lots of petroleum jelly on my spatula and fingers. Then I used a spatula knife to carve out chunks to create a hole in the middle and set that with lots of loose powder. I did the same thing to my arm wound. Using NYX's Total Control Drop Foundation again, I painted over the wound and set it with loose powder, doing the same things to my arm as well. Using Cherry Skies again, I painted in the bloody base of both wounds. I used NYX's Vivid Brights Cream Color in Bad Blood, how appropriate, to paint the edges of my wound as well as a cut on my lip. I added more spirit gum and topped off my wounds with some fake coagulated blood. The finishing touches involved NYX's Sweet Cheek Splash and Smudger Brush once again to give the skin surrounding the wound the illusion of being irritated and inflamed. Using grey eyeshadow and my fingers, I put random marks on my face and neck to look like dirt, and on my ears too for good measure. And that is how you make yourself look like an escaped rebel. Skin piece and microchip check. Now on to my second look. I primed my cheeks with NYX's color correcting liquid in green to offset their redness and then layered NYX's Angel Veil Primer on my whole face. I applied NYX's Total Control Drop Foundation using their Total Control Drop Foundation brush for a flawless finish. Now would you look at that difference? Using NYX's No Filter Finishing Powder and their Multi-Purpose Buffing Brush, I set all of that. I have to say, I think this is now officially my favorite foundation. I applied eyeshadow primer on my eyelids and then used NYX's eyebrow cake powder and their angled brush to fill in my brows and then darkened them with a brow pomade. Next, I used NYX's liquid suede and stone fox to create the grey base and used the Total Control Drop Foundation brush to blend it outwards towards my temples and jawline on both sides of my face as well as a little bit on both my ears. I also used it to contour my forehead, chin and jawline. Using Silver Lake from the NYX Loves LA collection, I set all the grey areas of my face. I also contoured my nose bridge and sides and brought it down my neck for some additional definition. I blended NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Slate as a base on both eyelids and on the lower lash line. Then I used NYX's Smudger Brush and the three grey shadows from the NYX Loves LA collection to shade and define my crease. NYX's Begone Makeup Remover Wipes really helped me correct the parts that I wasn't happy with. Then, I darkened my crease and lower lash line with some black eyeshadow. Then, it was time for black eyeliner and my favorite smoky eye trick. I used a flat smudger brush to smudge black eyeshadow above my eyeliner and a lighter shadow on the inner eye and middle of the eyelid. Now for the glowing circuit board design. I used a white water activated face paint to map out the lines roughly. I used NYX's Luxe Powder Puff on my pinky to allow my hand to rest on my face as a support whilst drawing the lines. I have super shaky hands, so this helpful trick really saved me. If you use this trick, be sure to coat the powder puff with some translucent loose powder first so that it won't ruin your hard work. I used face paint so that it would be easy to amend any mistakes and also because its texture creates a good base to layer the NYX makeup later on. I found that going back and forth between both sides of my face helped me ensure the design was symmetrical. 
Next, I dabbed on NYX's Vivid Brights cream colors in Light Show and Blueprint as the base for the glowing effect. I used my fingertips to press it in for that diffused look. I layered on some bright yellow eyeshadow on the top part, bright green eyeshadow on the middle part, and Malibu from the NYX Loves LA collection because I wanted a top to bottom ombre effect from yellow to green to blue. Using NYX's white liquid liner, I completed the glowing effect by going over all the lines one more time so that the top layer would be white and bright. These lines took a long time, so just be patient and try to enjoy the process. And remember to hydrate yourself. Eventually, I was done. Next, using an eyeliner pencil, I sketched out the outline of the thicker tribal designs and then filled them in with NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. Then I used a matte black liquid lipstick to intensify the shapes and neaten the edges. For the more intricate tribal designs, I went straight in with a black liquid eyeliner pen. I then used a small brush and more matte black liquid lipstick for the dots. By the way, it was in between my tribal paintings that I remembered to fill in the white circles of my circuit board design. Moving on to my cyborg arm. Using NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean again, I mapped out the basic shapes of the arm. This was my first time body painting ever, so believe me, if I could do this, anyone can succeed at painting this basic cyborg arm too. After applying a base of light grey face paint, I used NYX's Liquid Suede and Stone Fox to shade and add dimension, blending with NYX's Total Control Drop Foundation brush once more. I went over my outlines again with the Jumbo Eye in Black Bean, and then used a matte black eyeshadow to deepen and set the shading. To paint the back of my arm, I had to hold it like that. It also felt strange drawing on my armpit. To complete the look, I added highlights with light grey and white eyeshadows, as well as some good old NYX white liquid liner and NYX jumbo eye pencil in milk. Then, the finishing touch was outlining everything again with black liquid eyeliner. Finally, it was time for a fly with me mascara and lashes, as well as final touches of black eyeshadow to intensify the crease. Boom! Now, the lips. I used a black matte liquid lipstick as a base and let it dry. Then, I applied NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in pure gold with my fingertips for some shimmer and texture. Then, I was done! Face, arm, check. Majorly back combed and teased hair drenched in hairspray, check. Costume, check. So there you have it, my post-apocalyptic rebel look. How's that for futuristic, guys? I hope I've earned your vote. It would mean so much to me to get into the top 6, so please refer below for the voting link and instructions on how to vote. You can vote every day from now till 7th June, and you have 3 votes each day per email address. It would be great if you gave 3 votes all to me! Thank you all so much for your support and love thus far. And thank you NYX Cosmetics for hosting this awesome contest and for all the makeup. Thanks also to the other sponsors Ridcan and Clarisonic. My name is Nicole and I'm Electric Eggplant. Signing off till next time.